Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. We are in my 2015 Mini Cooper Countryman S and in this video we're gonna talk about something important and that is five things I hate about this car. So I really struggle to come up with five things about this car that I that I hate but there are a few things that I really dislike about this car and Honestly, there's probably one thing that I actually hate about this car. So with that said, let's jump into the video and let's go through the five things I hate about my 2015 Mini Cooper Countryman S. So now the first thing is a pretty annoying thing, I have to say, and that is the interior quality in here. So the thing is, I think the previous owner, he, I, I kind of admire his choices because he it seems like he didn't care or she didn't care about anything on the interior of the car. All they cared about was getting the JCV package, which looks good on the outside and looks cool on the inside too, and get the premium audio system, but that's it. That's where the options for this car pretty much stops. It has all the all the good looking stuff but the quality of the interior and the materials are not really that great and specifically this armrest here in the middle this middle armrest it's so squeaky when you put your elbow in it just take a listen to this Now the good part is on this side, this is soft touch material right here. So if I put my elbow on here, uh, on the on the left side, it's all good. It doesn't squeak or anything, but it's just on this right side here that I hear this squeak every time I put my elbow on here. And I really like to have an armrest on there, so I don't want to fold it up either. It's just one of these things that you have to live with. It's not a big deal, but it's probably my biggest complaint about this car. So for the second thing that I hate about this car is the fact that it doesn't have Bluetooth audio, which is nuts. This is something that I talked about in my previous Mini Cooper video, the first one that I did on this car. And it's weird because if someone someone just called me just a couple of minutes ago and it connects to the Bluetooth uh, system in the car and you can talk through this mic up here in the, in the ceiling of the car, in the roof of the car, but you can't play music from your phone through the Bluetooth speakers, which is just weird. It feels like one of these annoying upsells that Mini has or maybe BMW has at the same time era 2015 that the system is already there and it's kind of working halfway it works for calls but there is no way you can play your music through the Bluetooth system without paying some extra cash and adding that as an option now there was a viewer on the last video he talked about he mentioned some adapter for this car car specifically that you just plug in to the connectors down here the aux and the and the usb outputs right here or inputs and that will work exactly as a bluetooth audio system would so i might have to check that out and you can even use the controls on the steering wheel with that adapter sounds like a pretty cool solution but still i think it's something that should be standard on a 2015 mini cooper The third thing I dislike or hate about this car is one annoying thing about the wipers and that is that I can't seem to figure out how to get the wipers in the interval mode. I think that's what it's called, I'm not sure. But the mode where you just decide, you decide the interval between the wipes, if that makes sense. I know there is an automatic setting and that's just pushing the button on the end, on the end of the stick. You just push that in and that usually works pretty great. The car kind of knows when to wipe uh, pretty well so you don't have to think about it that much. But it seems like it's either on or off the wipers, either on uh, all the time or you turn them off or you have the auto mode. I'm not sure if it actually has an interval setting. It's, it's kind of weird because you're so used to it with normal car, cars that it has a setting like that. But if you're a mini user and you have figured that one out, give me a uh, comment below and let me know how to set that on. I haven't looked into it too much, but I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. The fourth thing I dislike or hate about this car is 
now you're gonna start to realize that I really struggled to come up with these five things to hate about this car because this is kind of ridiculous and so is the fifth thing but anyway it's the side mirror to the right if I look at it it's almost cut off by part of the door it's like the mirror sits a little bit too low I get that it's it's for me it's fine I mean I can see the mirror even though it's cut almost one third of the way up on the on, in the mirror itself by the bottom part of the door but if you were shorter than me I can see that that is maybe a problem that you need to like look up every time you want to look in the mirror and that can be a bit of an annoyance it's not a big deal obviously it feels weird to just hate on small things like this but hey I said I was gonna do this video so I had to come up with five things to hate about this car and that is obviously one of them so the last and final thing that I hate about this car is the way the force you need to put this car in reverse it was kind of fun when I picked this car up at the dealership uh, I think they knew there was uh, it was a thing that it was really hard to put this car in reverse and I had to back up uh, th from the parking lot and they were just sitting in the back waiting for me to figure out how to get in the reverse usually is you just lift up something a, a lock or something or you just push down the whole stick and put it in reverse in this case you just got to use a lot of force I mean more force than you would expect to put this car in reverse it's almost like you have to use two hands and just shove it in reverse it's it's something that you got used to I mean once you figure that one out it's not that difficult to do but I was just surprised at how much force is actually required to put this car in reverse and it's kind of a funny thing the dealer dealer started laughing at me once I figured it out it took me about two minutes to figure that one out because I didn't see any lock or anything I was so confused but that's the fifth and final thing about this car that you could say I hate about it It's kind of funny to talk about five things I hate about this car. The fact is that I love pretty much everything about this car. It's such a good deal and it so reminds me of how fun it is to drive a manual six-speed with just a normal engine. I mean, it's not a massive engine in this car, but it's a small, nimble car and you can really feel feel it in this car and that's what I want to talk about in the next video about this car where we're obviously going to get all positive and cozy and talk about five things I love about this car it's going to be a video way easier to make than this one come up with five things I love about this car it's pretty easy it's gonna take me two seconds while figuring out five things I hate about this car it took me almost 30 minutes or something like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Take care and I will see you in the next video.